So we <coughs> uh, choose to call this uh, Lean and Mean live video sharing and uh, quality does matter. So that's kind of two parts of, of our project is about video distribution and the other is about the quality of uh, the, the video that is distributed. So the motivation of this work has been uh, to to see the observation, and probably you already know that the mobile video consumption is increasing very rapidly. And um, in many places, the demand often exceeds the resources. And this is especially true around, uh, for instance, sports event, where you may not have the infrastructure that is uh, uh, good enough for all the people that is uh, currently wanting to use it for video uh, sharing. And the other thing is that uh, in these places and in other places, especially when you're mobile, the quality of the presented video will vary a lot. And uh, the bandwidth that you get is not always uh, sufficient to explain why this is varying. So we have in this project uh, a number of different so solutions for this. One of these is about the video distribution, which is based. Uh, of smart network protocols that uh, uh, involves caching. It's uh, based on something called information-centric networking, and it minimizes transmission if the uh, uh, material is available in, in the caches and is uh, inherent in the, in the protocol to do this. And in this project, we have looked at uh, live video streaming for uh, based on information-centric networking. And this involves also caching strategies, and this could be very complex to, to study and optimize. So we have developed a um, visualization tool to help in, in this regard. And for the quality aspect, we have uh, developed and uh, looked at a number of different tools that could help a uh, user and network providers to uh, uh, estimate and monitor media quality. So I will present three things here. Uh, there are more, actually, uh, that <coughs> concentrate on this. Uh, one is a service called Streaming Column, uh, which is a video quality service, uh, and um, very similar to something which we have here in Sweden, in, in a sense, which is called Realmans Column, but this is for video quality, basically. Then there is a mobile app, called, uh, which looks at the connection quality and it's already launched in the market, in the Finnish market. And then we have a, a quality of experience modeling tool, which would be adapted and build models for different type of services and, and application. And finally, there is uh, one uh, UTT monitoring solution, if you are a network provider that uh, have responsibility to distribute videos, you might need these type of tools. And uh, UTT is uh, a video streaming over the internet, yeah. like Netflix, for instance. So if you start with this uh, uh, live video streaming, so one of the big work this year had been a, a field test at a public event. And the public event we target was the Nordic Ski World Championships in Poland, where we did uh, live testing of uh, uh, this um, uh, type of distribution. Uh, these are some pictures from it. I will show, hopefully it will work, uh, a video that gives you an uh, yeah, idea of how this uh, uh, streaming is working. So you might choose to stream. This is on the mobile phone. And of course you need to name the the actual stream, so someone can find it uh, if they want to see it. And um, then you start to um, uh, record uh, and also stream what you're interested in uh, sharing with other people and also say for yourself. Uh, you see, as you can see, it also follows the games. This is from Fallen uh, this year. Uh, and when you have done that, uh, or someone else might want to view the, something that someone is sharing with you, then uh, this is also easily done. 
Um, you just need to um, find the screen that you would like uh, to see. There might be plenty of them around, and you choose one of them. Um, and in this case, it happens to be the same as we just recorded, surprisingly. Um, so, and then you, you, you can see it. I mean, of course, uh, uh, just uh, uh, recording and uh, playing up uh, video is not really something very exciting in itself, but what is uh, uh, interesting here is that it actually keeps this distribution very locally. So it, if you are recording down there, uh, if you, and you want to view it there, the only transmission that is involved is between this base station. The rest of the network is not uh, at all uh, involved. And of course, if you are further away, you need to use more of the, the, the network, but it's actually very uh, sparsely used if it's not needed. And it could actually be shown that uh, if you have a, a normal type of distribution, you will have an almost linear increase in the, the load of the network based on the number of clients served. But this uh, type of distribution will keep it almost constant. And that's very impressive. So it is very nice solution for this type of uh, a, a situation where you have a large crowd, where you can have a lot of uh, similar type of videos that people want to, to share with each other and the resources are sparse. Also I mentioned that the network caching uh, could be, it's also very important for this type of uh, uh, solutions for like the uh, information centric networking uh, so you need to have good uh, caching strategies and this could be quite hard to actually understand what is going on. So we built a visualization tool. Uh, I won't uh, go in, in detail how it works, but it builds hierarchical views of the request arriving at the caches. And we will demo this as well as for the, the, the live video uh, app uh, tomorrow uh, at the demo sessions. Uh, and it also can indicate some of the dynamics in, in the systems. If we move further to the media quality side, we have this uh, uh, service that we are uh, uh, developing and uh, it's uh, in progress. Uh, uh, so we, we call it Streaming Colon. Uh, it's, um, it's basically a streaming check if you uh, translate it into English. Uh, and the notion is that it's not sufficient to just measure the bandwidth for media quality. You might need to, to measure, for instance, the variation in, in, in bandwidth that's, uh, re that affected the video, also the number of freezes that might occur during the transmission. So this works by playing the video and then during the playback measure a number of important parameters. And we now have a demo available, and the progress this year has been to in improve the user interface from something that was very uh, busy and maybe quite hard to understand to something that is very simple and clean. So it works by you just select uh, the, the service that you want to check, yeah, the video you want to, to, to look at, you, you play the video, uh, and uh, you, you get uh, rather easy to understand score about uh, uh, the quality. Uh, a service that has, uh, or an app that has come further in, in progress in product development is uh, the, the, the Finnish uh, app uh, Mobile Mittari. Uh, someone has no Finnish can pronounce it better, but it's a mobile meter. It looks at the connection quality uh, for a mobile uh, phone, and it weighs together a number of parameters. It doesn't really need the, the actual video, but it gives a, uh, an, a good indication whether this would be very good, uh, sufficient to, to, play, to play video. So in some sense, it's easier <coughs> to launch this type of app for checking the quality then steaming column which actually need the video to, to look at. 
Uh, so it's already out on the market uh, this year. Uh, but you might need to, to build new models for measuring quality. And this is not an easy task to do, and you might need to target it for specific application. And then you might actually need a tool to build your quality uh, experience models. And this is a machine learning tool called Aqua, uh, and it builds uh, by train on a lot of data, it builds a, a um, predictor, a model for quality of experience based on the decision tree. And then you can take that and stuff it into your network and get uh, quality prediction from that. And it has been tested, uh, for instance, uh, on Sky uh, calls and see that it uh, works pretty well with that. Uh, this year it has also been tested on, on video. Also, if you are a network provider or you're responsible for the video streaming distribution, uh, you, you might need to have monitoring tools in your network. And um, during this project, we have uh, developed a, a monitoring uh, tool for OTT services um, connected to CDN. And uh, it's have to look at specific uh, <coughs> uh, uh, protocols like uh, for HTTP adapter streaming and it can do that and it has been embedded in the current network solution for one of our industrial partners Indra uh, in Spain. Might be interesting for Telefonica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you may already have it. So uh, yeah, to come down to uh, to the summary of, of uh, this um, uh, major uh, things uh, in, at this project this year. We have other stuff as well, uh, uh, which I don't want to go into, uh, standardization efforts and open source that's not uh, really presented here. Uh, the, the things I've been talking about here will most of it be demonstrated tomorrow, so you can come there and, and look at that. And the monitoring solution, I have a video if you're interested uh, to, to see how it works. So we have the, the, the field test at uh, the Nordic Ski Championships uh, in Falun. We have the cache and visualization tool. We have the mobile meter, uh, which is out on the market, uh, uh, on the Finnish market. And it could be downloaded, if you're in Finland, from their app store. And uh, we have streaming column, which we have improved the user interface. We have the uh, machine learning tool for uh, in the um, building uh, quality of experience models and the monitoring tool for uh, or service for the OTT uh, providers. So, thank you. And yeah, I would say the partners, we in this case are Acreo, Ericsson, India in France, uh, Indra in Spain, Lund University, SIX and VTT in Finland.